Okay, this script is called repeat copy. This is now version 1.5. So what it does is it allows you to take a selection of components like this. Then you run plugins, Chris Fulmer tools, choose repeat copy. And by just clicking anywhere in the model now, it'll add one of these selected components. And it randomly chooses between the selected components. But if I hold down control and click, it doesn't always let you control what the order is, but while I'm holding control, it'll always use the same order. So you can see it didn't do randomly, it just did um, in order. But now if I click not holding control, it adds them randomly into the model. So what's new in version 1.5 is I've added this user interface box up here. This allows you to set minimum and maximum values for scale and rotation of components as they're inserted. So we can turn this on and it's set right now at 100% minimum and maximum scale and 0% rotation. So let's edit that. So let's say we want it to go as small as 50% of the original size and go as large as 200%. And let's add a maximum rotation of 360 degrees. So the component can be placed in a full rotation any 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 direction. So now as we click we can see the components are all coming in at different sizes within our specified range and they're coming in rotated just how we specified. There we go. So that helps um, as you're adding components to give a little bit of randomness to their uh, to their orientation. And then it's the same thing as it was previously. This box is loose geometry and so is this and this. And this is actually a group instead of a component. If I select all of these wrong button. If I select all of these and run repeat copy, you can see it deselects everything that's not a component instance, so that way it helps uh, ensure that you only have component instances selected. And it's still using our random our random location, but we can just turn that right off and now it goes back to just inserting actual perfect duplicates of what we have selected. Then again, I should note that you don't have to have multiple things selected. You can just have a single item selected. Oh. <laughs> if you want to use a group, you need to first make it into a component. You can right click and choose Make Component. There we go. Now I can select that, and when I run Repeat Copy, it'll let me just keep placing instances of the same group. And of course, I can scale that one group if I want and rotate it like this. There we go. Okay, so let's come over here. Now these trees are face me components. You can see they follow the camera. Let's turn this on. Let's see. First, let's select these. Okay, so let's add some randomness. Okay, we're still at 50 and 200%. That sounds good to me. So I'll just quickly start inserting these, and you can see some of these trees are coming in at different sizes, larger and smaller, which is perfect. And uh, having the rotation turned on doesn't affect the face me components because they should always be facing the camera. So you, so um, so the script won't actually rotate them; it just puts them in just how they are, and that way they can always follow the camera correctly. And there you can see just um, this script and a few simple components. You can start. Uh, creating you know randomized forests like this rather quickly instead of the previous way of having to select them out of the component window and putting them in and scaling them manually. I think this is um, hopefully this is pretty useful. All right, thanks.